And also at Abu Ghraib, we have this beautiful ancient limestone wall, which is uh, very flat looking, at least to the eye, as you can see. And the original casing stones here of rose granite of uh, what's left of a pyramid, limestone core. And again, the rose granite comes from more than 500 miles away from Aswan. And some of the blocks are uh, of the, uh, the rose granite are many, many tons, as in 50 tons plus in some some places, like at uh, Giza, which isn't too far from here because all of these sites are very close together. The sites in the area known as Buwizer, which is the ancient term, pre-dynastic term for this area, as in before the pharaohs showed up, <coughs> there was a very advanced civilization uh, from which the pharaohs appropriated things like beautiful flat stone surfaces. The Comitians seemed to be the people uh, who had lost ancient high technology. Again, casing stones here, red granite, the rose red granite of uh, from Aswan. Here a beautiful shaped service, uh, surface with uh, hieroglyphs which were added later, probably by the dynastic Egyptians. But this is the most incredible thing. Uh, this is called the Hotep. And it is one single block of stone. You can see it has four points. Very crystalline stone. And also notice the layering. Notice how flat the layering is. This was clearly, I'm sure it was not a fluke, it was clearly selected for this horizontal layering. So the stone itself may not have been taken out of the quarry this way. They may have had to have selected the stone uh, from an angle in the, uh, in the quarry in order to achieve that sandwich look. And what we also see are these beautiful shaped lines and curves. Very, very flat. They look like, okay, sorry, I thought it was one piece. It's actually one, two, three, four. But this is one single block here. And again, these beautiful, uh, even, flat uh, surfaces and what's very cool is around here what we'll see is a tube drill mark which is right there so it looks like a tube drill was definitely used to create this area and then a different tool was used to create this area and the continuity here is very very smooth it feels almost like, or maybe was, an ancient router device that cut that out, like that. Incredibly difficult to do by hand, possibly Im impossible to do by hand, and this centerpiece is absolutely magnificent. And across the way, these uh, crystalline um, stone bowls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. We'll go and have a look at those next. Here at Abu Ghraib, where most tourists don't go because nobody tells them about them. But Yusuf Awiyan, our guide over there, is the master of the area. His father was the master before him. His family line goes back probably thousands of years maintaining this ancient pre-dynastic knowledge. And across from the Hotep, here we have these amazing bowls. Nine of them. Same, seemingly the same material as the Hotep. 
Notice all the curious knobs that are on them. And each one of these has a hole, one hole in it. Now it's said by some that these are sacrificial bowls, or were, for putting the blood of a bull in or something like that. But it's the precision of the hole and the fact that it's not very low down. If this was a drain plug, it would clearly be lower down. And it's not. It's less than, it looks like less than a third of the way down from the top. And just look at how well that was done. You can also see, hopefully, I'll turn on the light. You see inside, hopefully you can see where the tool actually skipped on the right hand side. You can see where the cord drill mo uh, moved out of a perfect pattern and dug in a little more uh, than it needed to. That could mean that the tool was driven by hand, as in hand control, but clearly hard material like this, seemingly a perfectly round hole, these were not done by primitive workers with simple tools. This looks to me like high technology The number of knobs is not the same. These knobs here, they seem to vary. I, mean, I think they're all in the 20s in terms of numbers, but uh, not the same number for each one. And they were not originally found here. They were found around the pyramid Pernetter. Pernetter is the ancient name for pyramid. Pyramid itself being a name taken from the Greek. But they were found around that pernetter, and uh, the archaeologists lined them up because supposedly they were going to at one time move them to the museum in Cairo, maybe, but they just uh, never got around to it. Quite incredible.